So when you get your pom-poms, they're either going to be pointed like this with a pointed end cut or rounded like this. And they'll, they'll come flat with your metal hook right here at the top. So what you're going to do today, I'm going to fold out a rounded one for you. So we'll put that to the side. What you're going to do once you get it is you're going to flip it on its side, just like this, the small side. And you're going to fan it out. Make sure that your pointed loop is up, facing upwards right here. And you're going to fan out both ends, just like this, just to kind of get them going. And each one is made up of 8 to 10 sheets of paper. So you're going to fold either four or five sheets up, depending on how many years are made from. So you just start pulling from one end and just go all the way across, just like that, and pull it up as far as you can towards the center. But don't pull too hard because it is tissue and it will rip. So keep, keep pulling in that circular motion here. Just go all the way around. Just one sheet at a time. So I've got three. And then here is my four. Now you're going to turn it around and you're going to do the same thing on this side. So you'll take your first one. And it's okay if it does rip. So it's tissue paper, so it's very forgiving. You can either tape it or you can actually just kind of cut out the ripped part and you really won't notice it. And you're on number two. And just keep going around this way. And don't worry about it being in the correct spot. You can always mess with it once it's all poofed out. And four. So we've got half of it done. We're going to flip it on its side and we're going to do the same thing on the reverse side. Pull it out on this end. Two, three, and four. And now the other side. To do from here is go ahead and find your hook again. So you'll just dig down in here and you're just going to start making it look like a ball. So I'm just going to start poofing it so that it all comes together. And this is how you make it form its shape. Play around with it until you've got it how you want it. Just like that. And once you hang it, you can always play around with it too. But once you're done, that's the final product. And you'll just tie your monofilament to this hanger here in the center, and you'll be good to go.